Hey everyone, welcome to the video where today we're going to be in San Diego, California, going to a British restaurant. Yes, an English British pub in San Diego in America. So after I, you know, spending quite a bit of time in the UK, I'm excited to go see what an English or British pub is like in America with new eyes. You know, I've been to them in the past, but I haven't been to one in a very long time. So excited to go to that. So this place is called Shakespeare's Pub, and we're going to go to their Whale Challenge. This is a very famous fish and chip challenge. It is massive. It has a two plus pound piece of cod, and then that's like two pounds of actual fish. Then it's battered, so it is actually bigger than two pounds. It's served with what is supposed to be two pounds of chips and or fries. I'm really curious to see if they're going to be like the chip shop or like whatever restaurant-ish pub fries whatever mashed potato sticks like they are in the uk like chip shop chippy chips i was saying a lot of chips a lot of time but i'm sure you followed that hopefully i'm curious to see what the french fries are like and then you also are served a bowl of peas interestingly not mushy peas though which is the real british version but regular peas you do have 40 minutes to complete the challenge in order to get the email for free and a sweet t-shirt um so yeah so it's pretty much the majority of the info so let's go check out this giant massive large monster fish and chip challenge called the whale and uh yeah so a lot of fish a lot of fries peas no complaints hopefully they have english mustard but we'll go find out and um yeah let's just say we had a really we had a quite a beefy mustache going on uh during the challenge, we'll put it that way. But at that, let's go have fun. Let's go eat some food. And now here's a word from our sponsor. Keeps helps men keep their hair. So what is Keeps? Well, Keeps is an online subscription service, which is very professional and discreet, done via your home through a consultation, which helps men treat their male pattern baldness. It's really easy to sign up, and then they will ship you FDA-approved, effective, and proven hair loss treatments and i know i want to keep my hair for a very long time so they even offer products like different shampoos and thickening pomades and stuff so a variety of different options it's super easy to sign up you can choose between like three six 12 month delivery options you can pause or cancel at any time it really is as easy as it sounds and super convenient so hair loss stops with keeps so this for a special offer today click my link down below that is keeps.com forward slash joel hansen k-e-e-p-s dot com forward slash j-o-e-l-h-a-n-s-e-n so either go to that link or click it down below and get started today in preventing hair loss with keeps Hi everybody so here we are with the whale and this thing is huge this thing literally this is it is actually massive and there's a pile a pile of fries or chips if you want to call them that we'll, we'll, we'll try, try to stick to my proper terminology um, then we all, of course have our side of peas right here, but this thing is hefty. So like we said, we got 45 minutes. Um, time to start when we take our first bite. This thing is smoking hot. Definitely gonna let it cool off. We then of course have some tartar sauce. We do have me some lemon, and of course we have some vinegar. This is a malt vinegar, and I have ketchup. I do let me some ketchup, a little bit of tartar sauce, all that good stuff. It's been a while since I've done any fish and chips actually. They cool long, long time. Um, but yeah, that let's cool off a little bit. Let's start here in just a moment. These are also like legit British chip shop chips, mashed potato sticks, in other words. But uh, yeah, guys, this is huge. So uh, wish us luck. Get trying to get that free meal, that T-shirt, and um, yeah, we'll get started here. Pretty much just momentarily. It's supposed to be cod, beer battered for sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at this. That's a, that a hefty, it's big. Let's put it that way. So that, let's just start here just momentarily. All right, so we'll get started then. All right. First bite. First bite, all right. You can even start now if you want. Okay. Go for it, awesome. Thank you so much, appreciate it. All right guys, 45 minutes. And uh, at first I was instructed that I go pee and then, but now we gotta get started, so anyway. Let's get rocking, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna grab myself some ketchup. I got a plate right here. And, uh, whoops. Tartar sauce, and they actually have English mustard. So, for that, everybody, let's officially dive into this. This looks nice and hot, that is for sure. Hot and flaky, so I'm gonna let it uh, hopefully cool off a little bit as we dive into this great big giant piece of fish. Mm. 
It is quite hot. The uh, it reminds me of a, um, a very British English fish and chips. Obviously, in the sense that they don't season it much. So that's why it's always salt, vinegar, see what it's all about. Malt vinegar. I'll try the fish with a, a little bit of tartar sauce. Here we go. Some dill in there. Hi everybody, welcome to this video where today we're here taking on the famous Whale Challenge at Shakespeare's Pub. This is definitely, I'd say, one of the most well-known challenges in the San Diego area and uh, happy to be here doing it. So I was just here very quickly, basically on a quote-unquote layover in between a flight and a cruise port out of San Diego. So I had a little bit of time in which I came to try this challenge. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Lots of chips, so holy jumpers, these are going to be something to get through. That's for sure. And the peas, of course. Personally, I'm not a big lemon on fish person. Some people love it. So let me know what you think of it down below. It's like an inch thick. Big piece. So like we said, pretty straightforward. It is uh, supposed to be a two pound piece of cod, which then is battered. So it's actually over two pounds, then quote unquote, two pounds of chips. Definitely a lot here today. Big bowl of peas, 45 minutes, trying to get that free meal and a t-shirt. Catch your mentor shot. Lovely combo. Um, so what's interesting about this challenge is obviously it is in a very English British pub, um, but they kind of had a bit of a discrepancy in regards to the starting. So it was like at first I was delivered and they're like, hey, just time starts when you have your first bite. And then it, another lady came and said, actually time started when I hit the table. And then I was like, okay, well, which is correct. And either way, long story short, we figured it all out. I just, as soon as they kind of went back and forth, I just said, start the time and we'll go from there. <laughs> Fish is gone. Here's some peas. So no, I'm surprised it's not a mushy piece. That's a very English thing. Looks like ground uh, mashed slippies. These are like a standard table pee. So our server's lovely, and then, this is supposed to be English mustard? 
This is not English mustard. This is, it's really liquidy. What I might believe is they got the powder and mixed it with water. I mean, it does have the, the, the kind of horseradishy sharp burn, but... A little different than English mushroom I'm used to. Well, that's not bad. But... Yeah, it kind of more reminds me of wasabi paste. Maybe this is the powdered English mustard? Try another one. No. No problem. This one maybe a little less watery. Let's see. I think that's what it's saying. They got the powder and mix it up. But. It tastes like water. I assume it should be vinegary, but... All good. And these aren't quite... It's funny, actually. So... Even though these are the, these are the same style as the mashed potato sticks in the UK, Cook the same way, they look the same way. They're a little less mashed potato-y on the inside. And again, I think it's due to the difference in potatoes. Maybe just like a difference in starch content or something from America or you know to the UK. I also want to give a lot of appreciation for uh, Shakespeare's offering this challenge, and they have for a number of years. I think it's a really cool challenge, one being fish and chips, kind of unique, definitely not the most common item in North America. And then um, the fact that they have it in what I'm going to call like a semi-realistic, like it's not like this is 25 you know, pounds of food, it's not like they're charging $100 for this meal, like it's pretty realistic, um, which I think is great on them, so huge kudos to them for offering this challenge at a relatively affordable price tag, but I guess the success rate is like less than 5%, they said. Whew. One thing's for sure. A lot of fries. A lot of chips. very generous portion we'll put it that way so yeah but that guys that's pretty much i think the majority of the info um overall pretty cool place i talk a lot about the food so i won't go on it too much here um but yeah cool to uh, have a real quick stop in san diego cool to uh have some english british food and uh, well let's just say the english mustard was not quite english mustard or well watch and let me know a little bit down below maybe i'm just a little off on that but let me know in the comment down below what you think of cod i really like cod but recently i've met some people that really disliked cod and i think they're crazy so let me know in the comment down below what you think of cod but that guys i'll let you enjoy the rest of the video see what i'm doing <laughs> Hi everybody. I assume we're probably about 11 ish minutes in. I didn't uh, catch the exact time we started. Kind of a little bit of a rush there. Between uh, miscommunication with the staff. Between the staff, I should say. Yeah, no 
no shortage, guys. It's called the whale for a reason. But, try some vinegar on the chips or fries. You know what it tastes like? Fries and malt vinegar. Thank you. Thanks so much. I think I might cut the side of my mouth though. Whew. Oh well. Casualties are to be expected. That being said, I think we've got the last bite here. Finished? We're all done. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, so uh, about what, just over 15 minutes, the official time, and then whatever time we actually started at. You guys can judge by whatever you like. Woo! Well, that was big. There's a lot of food. There's uh, definitely a good bit of uh, chips and or fries. The fish was quite nice. It was definitely a quality piece of fish. Like I said, definitely that very, 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 very English slash British style, which makes sense. I really appreciate, you know, they are kind of keeping as authentic as they really can here. Um, the fact that they had a English mustard as well, I was impressed with. Like I said, I think it's the, they got the powder and it just maybe quite didn't get mixed as well as it could have. But yeah, anyway, this, the, our waitress has been very friendly, so I appreciate her. Um, yeah, I don't know, so that'll be meal free. Apparently you get a t-shirt, it's pretty cool. Uh, and that's, ooh, excuse me, ooh, excuse me, lots of lots of air in there today. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So we get a meal free, it's cool. And um, I have no other words. That's pretty much about it. So, uh, Shakespeare's, touche. And apparently, you can only try this challenge once a year. It's in the uh, paper contract. And then, again, we were told first we could take photos, and then we were told to go pee, and then we were told that. It, Time starts when it hits the table, so I don't know what it really does. Depends who you talk to, I guess. But that one, like I said, no complaints. And uh, until next time, of course, I'm happy, hungry, happy, and that, have a good day.